talking about Stairway to Heaven today, and we're starting with an A minor, starting on the top four strings, and we're just going to jump right into some major detail here, because there is a lot we can overlook here in the, and we can definitely benefit from in the world of the right hand technique. So I, what I'll do is I'll walk you through each chord of the intro, which is an A minor, it's a forward roll with the right hand, thumb index, middle ring. The second pattern, that's a forward roll, but the second pattern is so cool because we've got this kind of a reverse combination roll, but we start with an A minor major nine over G sharp, really cool sounding chord. So we have this really cool thumb and middle uh, ring fingers and then reverse rolling down from the B into the G strings and back up to a forward roll onto the high E string. Then we move to A minor seven with a G in the bass. Same pattern, almost. We don't do the complete forward, uh, reverse forward roll. We just kind of skip back up to the ring finger. Then down to the D chord with F sharp in the bass. Same thing that we did with the A minor seven with G in the bass. And then this one is a, if you have questions about the chord shapes, just let me know. But we're using three, two, three, and that first finger is triple stopping the third fret, uh, second fret on this D, uh, G being high E strings, right? And then we have the F major seven. So each finger is assigned, a, you know, a specific string. And then we move to G with B in the bass and then to A minor with A in the bass. Then there's that famous slide up to fret eight, the flat six, which is present in the guitar solo then releases down to the five, which sets us back to the top, where there's a lady of shore, right? And it's slow and deliberate, you know? Then we walk up to C in the bass from the open A to fret two to the... And we're using that each finger again, the index, middle, and ring fingers are assigned to the one of the G, B, and E strings. So we don't have to move around like a, you know, and skip around like we're novices. We just practice this and we become kind of pros with just this introduction. It's a really great finger style exercise that exposes us to a lot of really great technique. To the D chord. That's kind of a tricky one, where we hit that A sus two, and then hammer on to the A minor, and then we're using that thumb and ring, and then hammering on, and then running back to the middle finger for the G string, right? And we're tracking the bass notes with the thumb, right? That's a really great situation because we're doing this pizzicato sort of playing all of the strings at once. We're not strumming. We could, but the trick here is to keep each string the same dynamic level or the same loudness level so we don't have, you know, you know, one string overpowering all the others. So this requires a little bit of thought and finger independence in the right hand, which we get over time and repetition. So we go through the intro again. And then I think we move from, instead of the G with B in the bass to A minor, we move from to G, actually G to the A minor, right? 
Okay, so that, let's go back and talk about this really wild finger picking. We start again to the transition to the next section of the song. We start again with the forward roll. Then we use the thumb and uh, ring into a reverse combination roll. You see that forward roll into a reverse roll with a partial rever uh, forward roll. If you repeated that pattern, that's what it would look like. Then we grab the pick. Because we have one right handy here on the table that you just can't see in the frame, and this is one of my favorite, as awesome as that intro was, this is one of my favorite parts of the song where we just sweep through that G chord and then we hit that A minor seven, which is open A, open G, you know, open A, two, open one, and then fourth finger grabs the third fret on the high E sing. And it's down, down, up, down, down. And then we do the D sus four, and then we release that to the D. And then we do that down, down, up, down, and then. we go back through the, some of those similar chords for the verse of the song. But I'm glad you stuck through this long, and if you wanted to see any more of the song, just let me know and we'll produce the second part, okay? And until we meet again, uh, happy picking. Oh, you might want to check out some of this, this video here for Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You. If you're into the Zeppelin thing and you really want to start looking at that, uh, that right hand finger picking stuff that Jimmy Page, Mr. Page, is so wildly famous for, take a look at Babe, I'm going to leave you. One of my old guitar lessons. You can go back and take a look and poke some fun at me if you'd like. I'll see you there.